Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the TFNN Noon Update. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off this update and the author of the opening call, daily newsletter, getting ready for my webinar tomorrow night, 5 o'clock to 6.30. Let's go to the Dow. The Dow is up 8 at 28,012, made a new all-time high. What was I anticipating here for today? I'm anticipating that it's going to be some kind of a very small doji-type candle and that perhaps Tuesday we see a pullback. We're bumping into resistance, spectacular move on Friday in the sense that it went sideways and then just gapped up and had what we call a Marbosa candle on Friday. No wicks. In other words, it gapped up and went straight up and then stopped right at the high of the day. Usually that portends some kind of a, an imbalance and that you have some kind of give back of some of the, the lost hour gains. Uh, the following session. We'll see what happens here. But if it does break into the 28,130 um, area early this week, that's that's really going to be spectacular action because it's going into the weekly upper resistance area and it's just showing no let up and the technical so far is still very good. Now, the S&P is a slightly different story. You know, the S&P today um, squeaked to a new high, the high on Friday was 31.2046. That's the all time high. And today it's 31.2148. So a fractional new high. Here it is in the upper red, upper um, area of the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, but it's still holding quite well, a little bit better than the Dow. But uh, we'll see how the day goes. So far it's at the upper end of the range. So we're watching that. And the weekly chart broke out of the resistance area. The QQQ NDX 100 uh, has not made a new all-time high today, 202, whoops, was that, no, is that correct? 202.91 was the high on Friday, and so for the highest, 202.87, just barely under it, but under it. That weekly chart is still very good, so is the monthly. The IWM was the laggard. It's still a lag. It's down 38 cents at 158.53. It's got quite a bit of a way to go. Now, this is going to be uh, very important because gold was down earlier on. Now it's up three and it's at 14.71. It's trying to form some kind of a uh, um, some kind of a low that gives you at least a short-term bounce, but only if it gets into the at 14.71. It needs to get into the 14.89, 14.92 area, and that'll be very good. I'll be back and we talk about this in greater detail straight after this break. Basil Chapman, host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming right up.